As you probably know, both Dave Richards and I create models by building component by component within the context of the overall connected model. This saves time and improves accuracy, but sometimes creates a component axis orientation that is not the best. As you can see here, the bounding box for the lower leg and the back slats is huge and unaligned with the plank of wood. This creates anomalies in making the cut list use of the plug-in and makes it harder to dimension. Pull a copy over on the red axis and select Edit Component to see the default location of the component axis. To change the axis orientation and location, click on the component, not in editing mode, and select Change Axis from the menu. Select a position that you know will help you orient and position the component in the assembled model. I know this intersection here is common with the vertical leg in the assembled model. Immediately, the bounding box is properly aligned with the plank of wood. We can use the Move Copy tool to rotate the component to also align with the global SketchUp axes. You don't have to do this, but it helps with dimensioning and producing the shop drawings. I'll move this back on the green axis a little bit. Pick the right side standard view of the camera and change the camera to parallel projection. Now I've got a full-size template view that is easily dimensioned and saved for printing a full-size template. Save this as a scene, open the scene dialog box and make a new scene called lower leg template and update the scene. Going back to the assembly view, note the bounding box on the back slat. Copy the back slat over to the right down the red axis. Right click on the component and select Change Axes. I'll pick a common intersection point on the model assembly so it makes it easier to connect precisely to the assembly. Rotate the slat into a vertical position. Then select standard camera front view. Let's move over to the right here and change to parallel projection. Again, make a new scene called 
short back slat template. Pick the dimension tool and add dimensions as necessary to create a full size template of the back slat. Now, returning to the overall assembly, after we label it, let's uh, delete the black back slat. Then go to the component dialog box and find the component there. Note its new orientation based on the changed axes and also note that it grabs in the connect point that corresponds with, with this corner in the assembly. Pick the rotate, well yeah, pick the rotate tool and move the slat into its proper angle. Now we've got a better way to manage the components and rebuild the assembly.